What is going on guys? So today we're diving into the question that I probably have gotten the most out of all of these videos and all the questions I've received. And that is, is the combat in Alpha 2 good? And that is a very, I don't want to say difficult thing to answer, but it is an alpha and there is definitely some fine tuning that needs to happen. But overall, yeah, I would say it's decent combat. Really, there's two types of combat in Ashes of Creation. There is the tab targeting side of things and there is the action combat side of things. And then they kind of blend together to make this new hybrid combat baby type of deal. And that's where it gets a little bit messy. Going through really any of the archetypes, for the most part, in tab targeting, it's your basic tab targeting. You have your bars set up you have your skill rotation that you want to do you want to try to combo your skills to do different effects different procs and that's basically what it is it feels good it looks good and i mean there's not much to tab it's pretty a simple thing in my opinion to do and i think tab is when you have developers that care and developers that are committed to giving you good combat tab is going to turn out fine so i'm not worried about the tab target side of thing my biggest complaint and it's not really a complaint it's kind of a adjustment of you may not necessarily be used to playing in this type of way that combat really wants you to play obviously you have your tab target fans you have your action combat fans but what these archetypes really want you to do with the weapon skill trees and the class kits is kind of weave in between your basic weapon attack which is normally just an auto attack and your abilities this really is a pretty heavy emphasis in these skill trees because these skills depending on what you pick can give you procs to do various other things for example we've seen before is the wand the wand you can spec into giving you fire perks such as burning you can get lightning perks such as, such as shock or you can spec in to get frost perks such as chilled and frozen and then basically your combo finishers from your basic weapon attack can trigger these procs on the enemies depending on how you spec them and then you can then combine that with your abilities to really add an additional effect and that could be increased damage for the mage which is the archetype i've played the most you can apply chilled which is like your movement slowing effect that happens with frost abilities and then you have this ability called horror frost that you shoot out and it will freeze a chilled opponent and it's great for pvp it's great for crowd control with mobs and it really kind of works together with the wand to make this possible you can also do that with frost lightning combo where there's a shocked ability that increases your damage when a target is frozen and then you put this lightning proc on it and it really is an adjustment in some ways like i personally going into the game your auto attack is off by default and at first i figured why is this like this is this the intention it seems Seems weird that they turn off your auto attack from the get-go but the more that i started to play these archetype kits the more i realized that you really want to time those base weapon attacks and you don't want to just constantly be audio attacking you can you can auto attack and get the same perks and time it that way but like the combat feels much smoother and much more fun when you are running around and you're casting those abilities from your weapon with the q key which you do in either tab or action mode where it gets messy as i said though is going into action combat so starting off as a fighter wielding that two-handed sword going into the action camera mode combat feels great you feel like you're in an action combat rpg where you're swinging the sword your sword has weight to it you hit your enemies when you swing it you can cleave and you can hit multiple enemies that are in front of you if your sword sweeps them and it feels pretty good but when you take that action combat and i said this in previous videos and you apply that to a ranged archetype like the ranger or the mage then suddenly that's where it kind of gets messy and you can really see that action combat right now is meant for you to feel like you are swinging your weapon and you're not actually having any sort of control over where it goes basically as i've said several times now you could aim in any direction but as long as you have your target selected even soft locking a target and you move your reticle off of that target and you fire that wand's cast or you fire that bow the arrow or the projectile it just tracks to the target just like you're in tab targeting mode which is not what i'd expect when you're doing this hybrid thing and you're aiming your wand to cast or you're aiming your bow to shoot so it's just like it's really off-putting and honestly it just makes me go back to tab target i see no reason to ever activate 
action combat as a mage wielding a wand. Now, a mage wielding a sword, that's a different story. There are swords, there are weapons in the game that give you different perks to tie into different archetypes. Like, there is a sword in there that I got, a two-handed sword that gives you some magical properties and increases your magical power to deal damage which is perfect for like a mage archetype and not as good for like a fighter archetype. And I grabbed that sword and bouncing between going close range with the sword when my abilities were on cooldown and backing back out and switching to my wand and casting, it felt pretty good. I really enjoyed it, but I'm not gonna constantly switch between action and tab. I'd rather just stay in tab target. The other thing with combat is, and this kind of, I think, ties back into the basic weapon attacks a bit, but from all of the archetypes I've played, there is no instant cast or short cast ability with no cooldown that does direct damage to a target. And when I say that, I mean like, for example, a lot of archetypes you start out with that one ability, and that one ability is in fact a no cooldown cast, and it might have a short cast time, it might have no cast time, and you're going to cast that ability, and that's like your go-to ability. When your skills are on cooldown, you use that ability or use another one similar to it and kind of figure out your rotation based around that ability. Whereas in Ashes of Creation, so far, every archetype you play, you jump into, all of your abilities have a cooldown from the start, and I imagine that is because they want you to use your basic weapon attacks, and they want you to figure out how to build up those combos. But again, it's kind of an adjustment, so some people may like that, some people might absolutely hate the way the hybrid system's working right now, and tying into that basic weapon swing. It definitely takes some getting used to, but once I got used to it, and once I figured out the archetype I was playing, and how to successfully execute those combos and do a lot of damage with the weapon and the class combined it felt pretty good overall though for an alpha state i would say combat is definitely one of the more well thought out and well done parts of alpha 2 right now compared to alpha 1 as i've said before alpha 1 in a way was a completely different game and it was more fleshed out in certain aspects when combat is not one of those aspects combat in alpha 1 absolutely sucks compared to combat in alpha 2 and they have done a great job improving this and the class kits that i've played they feel nice some of them are on the weaker side compared to where i've liked but like overall i think each class is going a long way to build its own identity and feel unique and separate itself from every other archetype on the field which is a great thing and especially for early alpha i'm really happy to see it and i'm sure this will continue even more especially once we add those secondary archetypes and start adding in augments to archetypes and all of those fun things that are really going to mix up the class flavor and make you really have more customization on how you choose to play. If you guys still got more questions on Alpha 2, drop them in the comments. Follow twitch.tv forward slash richiesh where we've been going live the last two days and we are going to keep it up and Friday we should be live all day until those servers go live and then all night playing Alpha 2 until I pass out and have to do some auto fishing, do like an AFK Richie sleeping stream while I auto fish or something, you know. Yeah.